So I'm uh, at my favorite cafe here, the Krakatoa, and uh, getting ready to edit this video. And I noticed even though I can play it in Windows Movie Maker, it comes in fine. It, it was recorded with a codec that is um, lightweight and small, but uh, not all applications will know how to handle it. And in particular, my video editing program, if I go and load it, there it is. Even though I see it and Windows sees uh, you know, how to generate a thumbnail for it and Windows Movie Maker Player can play it, this program doesn't know how to handle that codec, uh, seems like it. So, what to do? Well, one thing I found is that uh, FFmpeg is a, a very good uh, tool, it's a free tool to convert uh, between different video formats. So, what I'm going to do here is to show you how to do that. I've installed FFmpeg and I'm going to open this file with FFmpeg, excuse me, WinFF, which is driven by FFmpeg. But it's a, uh, a front-end, a video, a graphic interface to that. So um, uh, here's uh, opening WinFF, and uh, I can simply drag and drop this uh, file right into that. Uh, make sure it's going to go in the right folder. Uh, choose your conversion target. There's many formats to choose from. I love the uh, MPEG-4 format with H.264. Uh, very compact, f uh, high quality videos. And most of the time I don't need to go to very high or super high quality. Just high quality will do just fine. But um, you never know. Sometimes uh, if you have a lot of motion and a lot of uh, soft uh, colors and gradients, uh, it may be better to, to have the higher quality. For what I'm doing here in this case, uh, it's going to be just fine, I think, with uh, high quality. And there you go. You might want to adjust the volume if it came out a little bit too low. But it's something that I can do later in my video editing tool as well. Just in case, you could increase the volume. 256 is uh, keeping it at the same value. Doubling it means uh, 512. Right, and then so if you don't want to overdo it too much, maybe 360 or 400 or something like that might do better. So let's do 400. That way we have a little bit more volume because I know when I record this, uh, quite often it's not uh, normalized at the top possible level. You know what? Since I'm using an external microphone here, and this one behaves perhaps differently from the one I usually use, let's not do that. Okay, so let's just keep it default. Let's not change anything on the volume and just convert that. You can hear there's an airplane out like there. It's, uh, it's a bit noisy and uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this. But uh, here we go. <laughs> so converting it uh, from WinFF uh, essentially invokes uh, FFmpeg, which is included with the installation of WinFF. And uh, so this is a great free program um, to, to consider if you need to quickly convert videos from one format to another. Absolutely great. Uh, thanks, Matthew and Ian. Uh, Ian, I don't know how, how you pronounce it. Um, Alexei, and then there's also some ports to uh, Ubuntu and uh, let's see, uh, some other, some translations. Um, so great, great software, great tool, uh, very powerful and definitely a lifesaver in many situations where you need to get it from one format to another. And so that's that. What it will produce is an MP4 file. Uh, I can probably look at it here as it's being created. Yep, there it is. Uh, so here's my original, the AVI. Like I said, it's not corrupted. It's, it works fine. It plays in Windows Movie Player, it, uh, Media Player. It also probably imports in a few other programs. Just this one image uh, or video editing tool that I use, PowerDirector, doesn't seem to like that codec or recognize it. And um, so I know it will do better with uh, MP4 version of that. And that's how we convert this. All right, let's see uh, where we're at with that conversion. Still going. It will take, you know, maybe five, ten minutes. And uh, I'll just pause this until we're done here. Let's uh, put this like so. And I'll be back as soon as it's over. All right, here we are. This is now completed. And um, we can go simply hit Q or any character here at the end of this. This is a long uh, scroll through that long, long message of all the different stages you go through during the conversion. And that's basically it. You can preview it uh, or you can play it here rather, but you can also close that and find the MP4 that we just produced. Uh, here's uh, the original AVI and here's the uh, MP4 that we just created through that conversion with uh, WinFF. And so the beauty of that, 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 that will actually be imported uh, just fine in the um, 
in my video editing tool and there it is power director so if I go to that and uh, look for that mp4 file that we just created I add this to my collection of tools and sure enough there it is and it shows it and it plays just fine so that basically completes this uh, quick walkthrough on uh, how to convert a video to another format using WinFF uh, in hopes of using it in your video editing programs in case the original format uh, for some reason or another just doesn't work. Uh, don't despair, you can very likely rescue it by converting it to a different format and move on.